What's good gang, it's your boy Gari, back at it with another video. Now in today's video we're going to be cooking up a beat for Lil Baby from scratch. So yeah, something dark and something hard hitting. You guys already heard the sample, so we're going to be breaking that down. And yeah, let's get into it. So yeah, I started off this sample uh, by setting the BPM to 140. Now for these kind of like dark and hard and bouncy uh, little baby type beats, you kind of want to keep the BPM around like 120 to 155. Now the first part of the melody that I actually made is the piano right here. So this is what the piano sounds like. So yeah, this looks really complicated right now, so I've actually uh, separated the melody just to show the different parts of the actual melody. So yeah, the first part of the piano melody is this repeating pattern right here. Now this little pattern is really simple. All I really did is I built the melody off the A sharp minor chord, which is the root note of this uh, scale. And yeah, it's just repeating over the whole uh, 16 bars. So yeah, the next part of the piano is actually this right here, which are the bass notes right here and here. And then just some filler notes to kind of make it sound like a chord progression. So this is how this part sounds like. So all I really did was I put like some bass notes under this to kind of make it like a chord progression um, and then I just added like notes on top. Alright, so the last part of the piano is actually this kind of like top melody uh, that's going on over like the whole thing. Um, now this is just like a pattern that I found by just playing around with notes and kind of adding like harmonic notes on top. So yeah, again, all together the piano sounds like this. Right, once I had the piano part, I actually made this violin right here. Now this violin is from uh, Balkan Ethnic Orchestra and it's the Gypsy Romantic Violin. Now this just plays like a really simple melody on top of like the chords. Now on the violin, I just have a uh, shaper box making it pan from left to right. Some EQ just removing some low end. Some Valhalla vintage verb. Right, so to make this violin a little bit cooler, I actually automated the delay. Like the delay comes in when the violin is not playing. So especially at this part and this part right here. So if I play it for you guys, I'll show you. So yeah, it's just like a simple little thing to kind of fill up this little space right here. Now after I had the violin, I wanted to kind of have like a beat part with the piano. Alright, so what I actually did uh, is I rendered out the piano and added some portal. Um, I just went through the presets in portal and found something, then rendered it out again and then reversed it. Say on this I have some EQ, some halftime, and this preset right here which is really saucy in uh, gross beat. Now this preset really just ducks in and out the volume of the actual uh, melody. So if I play with them without, let's listen to it without it. And then turn it on. See it kind of just makes it stutter. Um, which is a really cool effect for things that you want to have in the background. Yeah, I also have some uh, Valhalla Vintage Verb on this. So yeah, this with the piano sounds like this. Right, so for the next part I actually have the reverse piano with the portal on. And then I have uh, the same again, just pitched down one octave. Now when I made this, I kind of figured out that these two melodies together, uh, along with the piano bass notes from the original melody, would be kind of like a cool uh, B part. So I actually just took out the bass notes from the original piano melody and put that in its own uh, pattern with these like reverse um, pianos. So 
so for the B part, I actually just added the violin back, just like in the original, and then one without the violin. Alright, so that's basically the whole sample. I'm just gonna render this out, and then we're gonna make some drones on it. So yeah, let's go. Alright, so I just opened a new project, and I actually put in the sample that we made. On today's video, we're actually gonna be using my new drum kit, which is called the Secrets Drum Kit, which just dropped. So yeah, if you guys fuck with the drum sounds, definitely check it out in the description. But yeah, let's try and make some fire drones. Alright, so let's let's check out some of the new sounds and let's try and find like a cool bounce. Let's use this little uh, rim right here. I just want to get like a little bit of a bounce. Alright, so we got a little bounce going. Let's try and find like a hi-hat. Alright, and also in the kit, there's going to be like 10 uh, hi-hat midis. So I'm just going to try and find something in here. Alright, let's see this. Just switch it up a little bit. Alright, so I think I'm gonna have two hi-hat patterns, so I'm gonna at least test out this one. Uh, I'm gonna copy it over and just have that somewhere else. But I really want to test out some of the other hi-hat midis. Number four. Yeah, this is fire, right? I just like to have like a little bit of bounce from like the reverse thing in uh, FX Tricks. Alright, so let's add an 808. Now what's really cool in Secrets is I've actually made a ton of like custom 808s right here. So I'm gonna just play through some of them. Alright, so I'm actually gonna use the uh, Spins Plus. Now the Spins Plus is just like the Spins 808, uh, just mixed a little bit differently. Copy over the notes. Now let's get some actual open hats in here. Earlier I actually found the other like hi-hat pattern so I'm gonna just test out these drums with that hi-hat pattern just to see how that sounds. Shit. Okay that's hard so yeah we're gonna have not an 808 switch or like a beat switch but just like a hi-hat switch, just to kind of switch it up between like the hook and the uh, verses. So yeah, I don't think we need anything else, so I'm gonna just work on the actual arrangement. So I'm gonna just split by channel and then just lay out this right here. And then we're gonna switch up the hi-hat pattern here, I think. So let's try and kind of delay where the 808 hits. Um, Mm. 
Yeah, that's fire. So kind of have like a little pause where you can have your tag or something like that in the start. And yeah, let's have it kind of cut out right where the perk hits. And then cut out the 808 somewhere around here. Alright, so I'm gonna just add some effects and some transition stuff just to make this kind of sound cool. So I'm gonna go to the actual kit and I'm gonna get... Yeah, let's try this one. I see, I'm gonna have that little transition right there and maybe around here somewhere. Yeah. And there too. I right, so that's pretty much it for the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'm just gonna lay this beat out and then show you guys a preview at the end. Now, if you guys wanna cop the new drum kit, it's gonna be linked in the description. And if you use the code secret, you'll get 25% off. So yeah, go get that. See so yeah, it's been your boy Gary. Peace.